Okay, so this was at IHOP, another IHOP tournament, but it was quick chess this time. So the time control was game in 24 with a five second delay. Um, okay, yeah. I was, I was trying to remember if I uh, was forgetting about some tournament before I looked at this one, but I think I already looked at the comic book tournament. So, these are our quick ratings. These are not accurate. Um, Daniel's just under 2200 now, and I'm like 2004 regular. These are our quicks. Um, we don't see the ratings. Why not? Now we do? Okay, I don't know what we're talking about, but okay. Um, first round for some reason, so it's like a quad, and you play, you play, there's like several quads, and we were in the top quad, obviously. And, uh, I don't know, there were some people I had never seen before in the other quads. I mean, the other two people in our quad. I, I don't think I had ever met them before. So first round I played Daniel, I'm not sure why, I thought, because we're the top two. I don't, it doesn't matter, it's round robin, but... Okay, I play Daniel, um, and he plays 1d4, which he doesn't do, normally. And, uh, you know, he said he's just- he- he said he has, like, a gap in his, uh, knowledge or understanding when it comes to, like, King's Indian type positions. So he's trying to learn how to play in these positions. He also played a King's Indian on Tuesday, um, and it was, like, an exchange, so it was lame. But, okay. I hope the, it doesn't start hailing and you can't hear me. What's a quad? A quad is four people, hence the word quad, and three rounds and you play everybody in the quad. Um, so I was happy because, you know, I like it when they play d4. Because then I get to put my knight on f6 and my pawn on g6. Um, and, like, shockingly, he's playing, like, mainline type stuff. Like, he's he's not... Like most people, I don't know, they, I, I haven't been able to play this way in a long time. People just don't allow this anymore. Um, I'm getting really strong deja vu right now, I don't know why. But okay, knight f3, e5. And then for a second I was, I was afraid he was gonna like take, and it's like, like he had prepared that, which is like, why would you prepare that? But I don't know, like I didn't understand why he, like had he been secretly looking at theory, but no, apparently he's just, He's just doing it. So, okay. This is chess. Um, yeah, I decided when am I going to get a chance to, to, to do this again. Um, sometimes uh, lately in Blitz I've been playing this move, but I don't know. This I, I never get to do this. So. And okay, he plays 91, and we're still in theory. I am at least. Uh, I think he's probably out of theory now. Um, so knight d3, I, I still know theory here, but the in my head, the point of playing knight d3, you're showing the intention that you want to play c5. That's what I think. Um, so okay, so I play f5, f3, and I play f4. And Daniel was trying to tell me after the game that he, f4 was wasn't the move here which okay the only reason i'm not gonna play f4 here is if he plays bishop d2 because then if i play f4 then this is this is terrible like this is gonna happen somehow so like if he hasn't committed to f3 but it it makes it makes sense to play f4 here because he wants to put his bishop on e3 to support c5. So f4 is the best move, but he was trying to tell me it wasn't. Yeah, b bishop d2 would be the main move. So f3 is already- this is already not a thing. So we're just playing chess. And now g4 is just not that great. Um, it's just not- it's not something that's played so much anymore. Um, it's, it's just, it's just, this is just, he's just mixing like several different things and it's just not going to work. So, so what I learned, I showed this to Josh and I learned something very, very useful here actually. So I, I played king h8, which is fine, but um, it's more accurate to play bishop f6 
now and then, you know, maybe do this stuff. But the point is, okay, you don't really want to allow h4, g5. Um, maybe I'll put my king on g7 instead of h8 because when I put my king on h8, it's probably going to have to go to g7 anyway if I want my rook coming to h8. So it's sort of a waste of a tempo. Um, it, it'll make sense when you see what I did. So I play king h8, bishop d2, knight g8, and now I play bishop f6, but my king is going to have to go to g7. So not helpful. Um, but yeah, in this specific line, it, it would make sense to just play bishop f6 right away. So that's what I learned. Um, yeah, because so now I play h5, h3, and now I play king g7. So I'm I'm a whole tempo down from what I could have I could have had. Um, still, I have a great position. I think I like black here. Um, and and look how many moves it took him to try and support c5 instead of here. Well, one, two, three. So it's like I wasted a tempo, but it didn't matter because the way he's playing, it just didn't make a difference. Um, he gave me the tempo back essentially. So now I play bishop h4, makes sense. Um, the reason I didn't want to play it right now is because of this is kind of annoying, and I have to move my queen back. Um, so I, I thought it was ideal to wait until he puts his bishop on this square, and now go here. And now he plays queen e1, and I take. Okay. So still, it feels like his plan should be to play c5. Um, my plan, well, my plan was to do this and sack here, but um, I learned another thing here. It's a much more accurate plan. Why didn't Daniel play b4? Well, when would he have time to do that? He plays it the next move, but up until now, when, 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 he, when would he have had the chance to do this? So I come up with an idea here that I like, and I still like it. Uh, Josh is not convinced. Um, that it's necessary, and uh, he did convince me, I just forget how. So I play b6. Um, this move makes sense because I am getting some more control over the c5 square, making it more difficult for him to get this push in. And I have an added idea of after b4, I played bishop a6. Um, and my idea is, I, well, obviously, I would be very happy if I provoked b5. That would I would make me very happy, and I could put the knight on c5, and then go back to c1. Um, and it gets it gets sort of uh, tactical here in in some some uh, moves. So, so okay, so if he just plays b5, I go back, and this looks very very good for me. This bishop is not a piece. It's not, it doesn't even have a way to become a piece. Um, but if he plays c5 here. I take, and I need to take here first. Wait a minute. Yeah, I have. Yeah, and then I have this move. So this isn't hanging. Um. If knight b5, knight h6, and something like this might happen, and this looks very good for me. So it's like, what does he do? Um, it's not necessary to do this though. I can just do my plan without this. It was it was sort of a waste. Um, but I misunderstood what my plan is supposed to be. So I thought my plan was supposed to be knight h6 and, and knight f6 to take. And in order to do that, I have to play g5 so that g f he doesn't play g5 and just fork my knights. Thanks for the Twitch Prime, Mel Die, for 18 months. Um, but actually, my plan is not to do that. It's to play knight h6, but instead of playing knight f6 right away, um, we can get rid of the need to play g5 by playing knight f7. And it works in the same way, and then my knight can come to f6. But I didn't understand that that was my plan. Um, if I knew that, then I don't think I would have played this move. But, okay, I learned something. So bishop a6. He, like, he touched his knight. And then he like stopped touching it and thought for a minute. He said he was thinking about this move possibly, but okay. I just I I keep going with my plan. It's not really doing much. So okay, he plays knight c1, and still he wants to get this push in if he can. I play knight h6, knight b3, rook h8. Hello, Josh. I like the King's Indian too. 
but um okay so now so now if he goes here or here well if he goes here i take but yeah what is his plan it's kind of difficult to come up with one so he plays rook h1 just sort of defending um it makes sense to add this in and yeah again so i, I thought g5 was necessary in order to play knight f6 but it's not um knight f7 saves a move so i'm it has two points. It's stopping g5, and it's getting out of the h, h file for the rook. It's getting out of the way, and it's preparing that f6. So, I didn't, I didn't know that, but that's, that makes a lot more sense. Um, queen g5 here? Queen g5 looks very, very bad because of this. And I'm probably going to lose that. Um, so yeah, knight f7 is what I should be doing. But I didn't know this. I played g5, I thought that was my obvi the, obviously the, the plan. Um, he, he keeps pushing pawns over here, which is kind of very slow, I thought. Now knight f6, he plays a5. And we're both running sort of low on time. I think I have, I don't know, 10 minutes or something like that. And I play bishop c8. So... The the best move is not it doesn't make a whole lot of sense um at first. Like I, I had trouble so I should play Queen D seven here just so that when he takes I can take back this way. I don't know, I don't really fully get it. I feel like my queen's in the way here. Uh I thought bishop c eight made more sense. Um because I'm just going to ignore this. I'm going to take. And here so okay. Daniel kept saying he was winning after the game, like, you know, like, I, 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 he was just winning or something. So he was winning for half a ply, this move, he was winning, and he didn't play the right move, and then he was never winning again. So, sure, sure, he was winning. Um, so the problem with bishop takes g4 is he doesn't have to recapture. He can just play b7, and then he takes. And, like, how am I going to have an attack... If he never ever takes here. I can't do anything. It's going to take too many moves. This pawn is very dangerous. And with this this pawn holding everything together. I mean, what am I going to take here? I, I have to waste a move going here and then here. and So th this would be winning for white. But he um, didn't think very much here. And he just, he just recaptured. And now I'm close to winning. So it's technically a sound sacrifice if he accepts it, but he doesn't have to accept it. Um, what I should do instead of this, just just take back. This is like equal, and you know he should play c5. I, I assume, but this this looks like maybe after c5 I can just take. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Um, what was that line that I found? Um, hold on, I'm just. What was it that I was looking at with Josh? Oh yeah, here. I don't know. Never mind. It, 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 uh, it won't come up organically. So I'll just, I'll just move on. Maybe he remembers. But okay. So I take and I take. And you know, right, right after I made this move, I was like. He doesn't have to t to capture, and then what? Uh, what is my plan? What am I doing? I didn't think it was as bad as the computer says, but I didn't think it was very good for me. Um, but thankfully, he you know he doesn't believe me, and he just takes it. Um, so I can actually just take back here. He he's not gonna be able to stop me from taking this pawn. So I I have time to do this. I don't really need to allow any of this counterplay, but. I still think I'm better here. Um, so I thought this move was kind of annoying for him because it's the queen is going to come in, the knight's coming to e3. And uh, yeah, and this move shocked me. I'm running very low on time here and I, I did not consider this move. It's not a good move, but um, it's kind of interesting actually. The move I played was the worst way to capture. And it's, it's the most natural way to do it, I think. I mean, it just feels wrong to take my rook off of this file, and it also feels wrong to take with the queen and allow this. But, you know, okay, so so if he takes, 
Oh my queen is in, in here, and this is this is not good. He can't allow this. Like, e even if he does this, it's not it's not leading to anything because he's out of checks. He's he's gonna get checkmated. Um. But I guess the point, you know, the point is he takes and he gets to to trade. It's very strange too. Um, I considered knight takes f2, but I thought there was no way I would have enough compensation for the piece with the queens off. But that's the best move. I'm plus two here. Um, oh, I, I guess technically I have a I have a rook for two pieces, but still, I, these are too strong. So, well, okay, I just hung a piece, but you know what I mean. I, I was just like, I knew that that hung a piece of feet or a rook, but yeah. I don't know. This this looked scary to me. I thought I should be better here, but I mm, I don't know. He's got two pieces, and all I, I got a rook. But apparently, that is what I'm supposed to do. This move is is fine. It's like equal. Um, but yeah, qu queen g1 is what I thought he would play. The, the move he needs to play here to be fine and not be losing is not one that comes naturally at all. You beat Daniel. I sure did. Um, yeah. What would what would you play here with white? There's only one move that does not lose. Move the queen. Wrong. He moved the queen. Yeah, the only other option is bishop g4. That's the only other option. Um, so, because you give up a, a bishop, and, you know, it seems weird, but it makes sense that you're just... You're trading pieces when you're getting attacked. That just, that just makes sense to do. It's harder for me to attack you if I don't have any pieces. And you simply play queen e2, defending the pawn, attacking the knight. Um, I still get my knight into e3, so I like. It, it's strange that that he's okay here. I, I think it's it's very strange, but this is equal. I'm down a full piece. I don't even have a pawn for it, but this is equal. And it's just because these pawns are so strong. This knight is a monster. The king can get out of the way for the queen. Um, so, okay, so I'm down a full piece. Even though it's like his worst piece, it's it's been his worst piece the entire game. Um, it went from here to here to here, here. Oops, no, that was the other one. Where did, this one just moved once. It was a pawn for the rest of the game. But like, what are what are what is what is the plan for this piece if you don't trade it? Ideally, okay, like if you could get it on this diagonal, that would be great. But how are you going to do that? Anyway, he plays queen g1, which is kind of like resigning. Because he thought he was fine here, I guess. But the problem is, so I so I take, and I play queen b6. Maybe if I don't have queen b6, he's fine. But okay, I'm I'm attacking a pawn. This is a th I have lots of discovered threats. I, I'm threatening to win a piece. So there's no real good response. I think queen c1 is probably what he has to do. And the funny thing is, um, I actually. Missed this specific win, went just picking up a piece right away. I went for a pawn instead. Um, but because that was because I saw this continuation of queen e3. Thought I was still winning a piece here. Um, so okay, I'm threatening to win a piece. I'm threatening if he moves it, I can take. I can go like this. This is just terrible. Plays this move. Check. And he needs to block with the bishop. Because what he did was, was terrible. Because now, now this is winning a piece. Bishop f1, I play g4. The pawns are just rolling in. I have... I'm, I'm, I, it only says I'm plus one, but I mean, I'm completely winning here, I think. This low-depth low leech s engine, you know how it is. But okay, I win a piece. I give check. I take another piece. Now I take a pawn. Now it's just sort of a formality that we're still playing. And now I have this very simple queen c2. He can't save his piece. He's going to get check. I think it's mate in five. Um, he gets one check and that's it. And then the game is over. This was rapid. That's why the ratings are so low. Um, or quick chess, I mean. So Daniel's like just under 2200 currently and I'm just over 2000. Regular. These are my quick rating. I, I broke 1900 quick from this tournament because I won all my games. Um... I don't know, is that a, an accomplishment? Who knows? I don't know. But okay, that was that game. It was just annoying, Daniel was like, being really salty afterwards, and he's being really salty on Tuesday too, but it's fine. 
I got to play chess and it was a King's Indian. Okay, next game I play this man. I don't know. He was he asked me if I was still still doing Twitch. I was like, uh yeah. Who are you? I don't know, just some guy. Okay. Cool. Good to know, Kubli. That, that sounds about right. Um, so I had no idea what this person's rating was, because like it wasn't posted anywhere. Um, but because I played Daniel in the first round, I assumed he was higher rated than me, or the other guy was higher rated than me, just because that's like how pairings work, I thought. Um, and I was confused here. I didn't remember the specific move order. So, I played c3, which is fine, but the problem with this move order is I have a4 here, and he has to play like bishop d7 or something stupid, because this move order is just not a thing, you know, it's even tempting to go here at, at some time, some point in time. He, he only has two, two moves that make any sense, this or this, so now I know. But I didn't know that, I just played c3 because, I don't know, you, some, you play c3 when these pawns are like this. Yeah, and then bishop g4 is apparently nonsense, um, which makes sense, because you're taking your- it's sort of like that other game I played recently, where he's just moving his bishop very far away from this- this knight he weakened and all his light squares. Um, so I should- I should play- I should play h3, bishop h5, and a4, and I- what I've done with h3 is disconnected the bishop from this diagonal, and it can't really help defend over here. So that would have been the play. I just castled, still doing great here. Um, I'd have six, d3, and and yeah, that's another thing. The bishop only it only makes sense to put the bishop here, really, if I've already played d4. If if I haven't played d4 and I can still play d3, then why is the bishop here? Um okay, knight a5, bishop c2, c5. And I was just confused here. I like didn't know what was happening, and it felt strange that he was. It, it felt like a combination of two different lines in a way that didn't make sense. So I'm just trying to make moves that make sense. So I play rookie one, h6, h3, and now I play a4. This is something I should have done a long, a long time ago, apparently. It's for the hundred bits, Greta. Um, but yeah, it would have been nice to have a4 in before he played knight a5, so I could put the bishop on a2. That would have been nice, but... Um, so I'm just developing my pieces. Rook d8 is a terrible move. So, so why are we playing this move, is my question. What is rook b- what is rook b8? Like, what is the plan? I couldn't figure it out. I just took- and now my rook has this open file for free. Seems good. And now I play knight f1. And I have this option, I have this option, I can go here. This just looks great for me. All his pieces are misplaced. He's got a piece here and here for some reason. This piece is doing nothing. This piece would take some maneuvering to be doing anything. So he castles, knight g3, knight h4. Now I go here. You know, I, I could take this bishop, but I feel like he's going to have to give his bishop for one of my knights anyway at some point. Um, and I like, I like the f5 square. So that's why I did this. Yeah, and now he has to just put this back because there was a very, very uh, big threat of knight e7, and then the rook it would be hanging. So that's another reason rook b8 is so bad. Now he has to go back. And yeah, I, I came up with this bishop b3 move, which isn't that great. Um, my point was, you know, he can't take because of here and here. But say he does something else, I don't know, like knight f6. And now I don't have this added idea of I wanted to also play queen g4 to, to take, because this is pinned. But now I don't have that. Um, maybe I play f4 here. This still looks good for me, actually. He's gonna have to... I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what he does here. It just looks bad, but better would be we should just develop a piece. Okay. Sure. Um, knight b6 not really ad addressing the threat. Um, okay, so so here I could just play bishop a2 and it felt wrong for me to do that. What? What happened?
What are you talking about? Sarah, no what? What do they do now? Whatever. Okay, so bishop a2 is, is fine. I don't know, I just didn't like the, the pin, but I just moved my bishop and it's not a pin anymore. Um, this wasn't an easy decision to make, so I'm giving bishop. I thought it was... I thought it made sense because when he takes, now the knight like has to go to some stupid square like this. Um, in short, he has the bishop pair, but look at my knights and look at his bishops. So, yeah, if I could do it again, I'd just play bishop a2. But... Okay, he immediately blunders. Um, apparently, bishop h4 is what he should do. And it's like it's such a move that just no one would play. Just no one would play that. I still don't really get it, but do I not have b4? Okay, he takes. Okay, I guess that's fair. I, it's, I don't, I don't want to allow him to take enough, too. But that's just like such a strange move. Um, but yeah, I guess he, he really just wants to get my knights out of there. But bishop f6 does not do a great job of doing this. Every move is a blunder. I don't understand how this keeps happening. So I should play b4. Here. Takey, takey. And now queen f3. But um, I'm not good at chess, so I played queen f3 right away, forgetting that this is a thing, I guess. Is that the point? That's not even the point. The point is again bishop h4. <laughs> Okay. Um I don't I don't understand. Josh, what's going on? Why is Bishop A4 so good? I mean he's not better or anything, it's just equal, but I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get Bishop H4. We'll we'll wait we'll wait for him to get back to us on that one. But okay, he doesn't play it because why would he? And you know, this move is ridiculous because it just allows this. And uh so yeah, there's there's like a funny tactical thing. He's just- okay. It's just that simple. But it's so weird. Yeah, so I- there's like a tactical idea here I did not see. Um, so, so my point is that I want to take this bishop. That's my point. And, and you know, if he takes- this is terrible. Um, if he takes here, he loses his queen. But okay, he can just play bishop e7 and then how do I defend both my knights? And I'm losing. It's for the Twitch Prime, live from space. So that was a bit of a blunder, but okay, it's quick chess and I'm not that great, so. He didn't see it, he just went here. Now I'm just moving my knights around and messing up his pawn structure. And, okay, I take here, which is not good. I went from plus six to plus two. The reason I did it, obviously it doesn't make sense normally to do this, to fix his pawn structure and take a, take this stupid piece. But I thought I was just going to checkmate him, was, was my, what I wanted to do. So it's hard to do. Um, instead, instead I have I have rook takes a5 here, which I just didn't I just missed. And the idea is bishop h6. And if it takes, I go here. And the threat is knight g6. And if he he recaptures the rook on f8 is hanging. And how do you how do you how do you how do you even defend this? There's no way. I mean, if you play king h7, I still have this. But that was that was a little bit above my uh, skill level to see all that. Um, so I, I did not see rook takes a5, uh, he plays, oh wait, yeah, so here, take, here, and I keep, I kept missing, um, queen f5, like, he should play queen f5 every single move from here on out, basically. The time control was gain 24 with a 5 second delay. How do I, uh, continue this attack, though? I'm not sure. d4. We're just gonna... Fix my pawn structure and get a passed pawn. This makes sense. I think the attack is over. But I just have to play chess now, is the thing. But okay, he should be, he should be playing queen f5 every single move. So I take. Now I, now I find bishop h6. Now I find this idea when it's not as good. Um, so taking it is, is uh, instant loses on the spot because of this, and then you can't stop me. Um, but okay, he just moves his king. Um, I play bishop g5, and I am minus 5 here. Once again, just play queen f5, and then two pieces of mine will be hanging. Like, if I go here, then my, 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 uh, bishop's gonna get trapped. Or my rook. Knight, bishop can't go here, or here. If I go here, then the, 
this is coming in. So I just didn't see that idea, neither did he. I don't know. But okay, this is just a, every move's a blunder day, apparently. F5, now, now, now what I've done makes sense. Um, and, you know, I thought G4 was, like, obviously the thing to do here. But, but, I, I guess he just pushes, and he locks everything up, and my rook is out of, out of the game. Apparently Queen G3 is what I'm supposed to do. I don't really get it. Oh yeah, rook h6. And that's the idea. Again, queen g3 is just, like, hard to see because how is queen helping? Like, I'm, I don't know, it feels slow, but it's not. Okay, I play g4 to the blunder. He blunders. Um, I blunder. <laughs> Okay, this is bad because they should take. And if takes, and I just go here and I win this pawn, and it's, I win the, the end game. Um, but I thought I was still trying to attack, so I went here. And again, he should play this move, and now my pieces are just completely out of the game. My queen, now, now I can't play queen g3 to help. Now I'm down two pieces, or a piece and a rook. Um, but he, he trades the pieces, and now I play queen g3. Now I bring the queen in. That move is bad, apparently. That move is also bad. This was like, we were both under five minutes and I I stopped. I was I was keeping score even f under five minutes because I, I wanted the content, but I kept messing it up, I think, and I don't remember what happened here. It was something like this, and I don't know, a few moves later he resigned. I don't know what happened. It was quick chess. Over the board quick chess. Only someone would gift a sub for every double double question mark. Yeah, that would be nice. So like, yeah, the only game I played well in was the first one against Daniel, but I still won all my games. Um, and I forgot to put the tags for this one, so I'll I'll do that real quick. Um, make sure I spell this man's name right. Um, I don't remember what his elo was. I'll just say like 1500. Mm, well, like, what was my quick rating? Like 1863. Now it's over 1900. Okay, there we go. And then we'll add the result so it looks nice in the study. Um, 01. Alright, yeah, Daniel's an NM, technically. Okay. So we played chess. It was a Nydorf, or a Najdorf, as some people say. And I didn't really know. Knight, knight b3 is, like, apparently not. Just doesn't make sense if you put the bishop here. This is what you. This is what the point is. But, um, I think he was just making random moves or something. Um, King h1, I don't know. Again, I didn't know what he was rated, so I was just like, am, am I the idiot? But I was not. Um, okay, I play b5. Then he, he pushes a3 and goes like this, like he, like, I'm gonna take this knight, which I am never going to do. Why would I do that? Um, yeah, and I don't know, I just, this, this is just good for me. Um, I'll know, you know, you can't do this because of this. Actually, actually, that's not even really the point. This is the point, I think. Yeah. So, okay, can't take that. So I just push. Might be six, and I'm going to win this pawn. Okay. And obviously the move is, is putting the knight in the center. And uh, he thought for a long time here and played knight d2. And I was just, like, so shocked by this. Because why are you doing that? And he, he has, like, a little tactical idea. This is his idea. He just he just wants to do this, or he wants to do this, but I, I'm not gonna do that. So this move makes no sense. Um, I'm just gonna move a piece. B3 is ridiculous. Um, so I should take with this knight. I forget what the reason was. I mean, it's just this. 
But why is why is this um not working? Let's see. Oh, C4. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, this works out just fine. Obviously this is bad. Or even this. I think both moves are perfectly good. Okay, but I took this way and my idea was I, I don't know, I wanted to do this. Then he just went back and allowed it. And you know, this looks like a defense at first, but I take... And... I, I was getting a little bit scared that he had enough compensation for the exchange. Um, just because I can't really defend this pawn. He's gonna win a second pawn. Hold on, let me see what this man's talking about. Yeah, that's- yeah, that is the point. I mean, that's also the point if he goes here. Very good, though. Oh! Uh, no, that is- okay. So, I, I kept wasting a bunch of moves trying to cope and ho hang on to this pawn. You need to play rook f8, like, every move. Um, I thought that move was strange. Um, so, this- this might be instructive. The, I think the best move is one that I, I don't think anyone would ever guess in a million years. It just looks so bad and unnatural. And like it's just, it's like it just sucks. Queen a5. It is worse than, it looks worse than that. Yeah, so no one's ever gonna guess this because it just looks stupid. But okay, the best move is queen c8. And the point is this. I didn't see that. I just played queen f6. And yeah, that's bad. And um, I just have to play rook f8 every move. Um, I can't hang on to this. I'm just, I'm just coping. Um, so the problem with this is this. But he got very tired halfway through the move. And he could not finish. Um, now, Rick of Eight is, is still probably what I should do. I think H6 is also fine. Um, he takes Rook E7. And then, you know, he just, like... I take back with the bishop. I just take back with the bishop. And then he resigned. That was that game. So there you go. That would, Those were my quick chess games.